Alright, um, so I'm basically making this video as a way to record the findings for like the past two, three hours of one building. Sorry for the audio quality, I'm just using Windows Game Bar and my crappy Xbox microphone because I feel like there isn't a good source of information on this that explains it clearly, so here we go. This is basically going to go over, uh, multicasts and chainsaws, and just how those work together. And basically, when you can get it down right, you should be able to make a wand like this. Damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry, not like that. Like this. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> How do we get to here? Well, first you need to understand how multicasts work. So, basically with multicasts, this is going to get into a little bit of the math territory with order of operations. When you have a multicast, think of it as a parentheses or a deal. So, you have four spells here. You have just a multicast of four, and this is only a spellcast one. We're going to keep it simple with non-shuffle wands and spellcast one. We're going to keep it real simple here. So, alright, I have that quad shot. Let's uh, get a couple more of the heavy bullet just to show. Again, I know it may seem obvious to some, but just to make sure and to get my point across. So... So it's just like, oh, alright, yeah, very, very straightforward, and, yeah, look, it feels, yeah, it has just the crappy old 0.5 second cast, or recharge time, my bad. So it just doesn't fire very fast. But now, what if we want to make it a little bit more complicated, like, well, can I put spell, like, casts within casts? And the answer is yes, yes you can. So, we can take something like this, and so what will happen is it fires off this spell and these three at once. So when you have a multicast or a trigger or timer within a multicast, think of it as adding another set of parentheses within a set of parentheses. So you have this grouping right here. You have one, two, three, four. This creates another grouping. In fact, you can make it even more stupid by having a group of... So when this fires off, it's going to fire off this as well as... When this goes off, it's going to fire off this six right here. And then you can throw in these. And see, I fired off the spitter ball. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the spitter ball and the three lances. Because that was parentheses one. Parentheses two was this little hexagon animation. I hope that clearly explains just the grouping, and you can make it even more complicated by, oh, like you can make uh, another little uh, spitter bolt here, and um, yeah, sure, we'll like dismantle this one real quick. So it's just like, oh, like you created another set of parentheses, so like, here's a grouping, and then it's just, alright, you finish this first grouping, then we move on to the next spell. So it's just like, oh, it's gonna be this, which is gonna go into this, and then there. So I should be casting one, two, three, four spells, but then two of these spells have these extra little casts next to you. See? So I hope that kind of gives you an idea of how multicasts work.
Now, here's another interesting thing to note about the cast. Uh, out of space and been had to like <laughs> bastardize my wands or whatever. But um, so actually, I shouldn't have removed all those. But all right, so that's all fine and dandy. But an uh, important thing to note is that with non-shuffle wands, these actually, when you run out of spells, it will loop back to the beginning. It is a rollback kind of thing. So, I fired my one heavy bolt, but then I fire off the heavy bolt again. Hello, actually. Should probably use a different thing. Just know, just know that it's rolling back. Unfortunately, both of these are kind of overlapping each other. It's just like, but because it's quad spell, so one, two, three. But uh oh, uh oh, Spirio ran out. So it then rolls back to here. Like I can even put it like all the way at the end here, and look what happens. So one, two, three, four. Oop. And then it fires all those. It roll. It rolls back. It goes forward and loops back around. It doesn't go like oh, like here. And then, like I used to think it was like oh, it'll take the previous four. No, it doesn't do that. It just goes back to the beginning. So why is that important to know? Well, let's say you want to make a rapid fire one. Now, again, we're going to take these off real quick just to show. Now, this is a spell that ha actually has a negative cast delay, and I'll get into cast delays later, it's kind of important, but... and eh, it's like, eh, kind of sucks. Alright, well, let's slap a chainsaw on it. Why? Because it reduces that recharge time. This has a recharge time of 0.5 seconds, but this reduces it by 0.7, so... Hey! Fires a little bit faster. What if I, uh, what if I had another chainsaw in there? Oh, damn. Alright. We're getting there, we're getting there. Let's add uh, a third, which just should, um, basically negate that entirely, that cast delay entirely. Well, actually, no, maybe not. But, getting faster. Now, I'm gonna keep adding just to show you a point here. Ooh, it seems a little bit slower. Like, yeah, let's just throw in all these chainsaws. Huh, it actually seems to have slowed down. Why is that? Because well, it's gonna keep going through the queue. And so basically you're firing off a chainsaw, but then it has to go through this whole line of chainsaws. So there's a point where adding more chainsaws isn't going to help. But here's the kicker. When you add a multicast, you're essentially firing off several chainsaws at once, meaning that you get to have the recharge time all at once. Now let's put this concentrated light at the end. Wow! A green beam of death. Amazing, right? Alright, well what if we put it like right here? Still the same result, but again, it, there's going to be an important... Actually, let me uh, replace this real quick. It's very important Here's a very important note with multicasts. It applies, like, when it comes to cast delays and recharge times, it feels like, as well. But especially cast delays, it will apply the cast delay of the last spell. So see how this has a 0.12 cast delay? Yeah, it fires fast, but... Alright, let's add it back here. Whoa! That's crazy, right? So... What you want to do is group, have it to where all of your chainsaws, as well as your projectile, fire in a group. And you can also move this over, because it's going to roll back, and you're still going to have this fast fire, because it's using up all the chainsaws at once.
And because the chainsaw back here doesn't have a cast blade, it doesn't fire like this. Again, if you have it over here, well, that doesn't affect it because it's rolling back. But if you have this as the last, the last part of the set, it's going to be slower because of that cast delay. So keep that in mind. So how do we bring it all together? Um, so what you do is you slap this, that, 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 and you basically. Oh yeah, hold on. I didn't make it as. I gotta fix it back. But yeah, you can see how it gets uh, really. Oh yeah. Also, just for a point of reference, this is um without. I guess I showed you at the beginning of the video. Just again, this is without. So, yeah. yeah, that's like nothing. Like who cares? It doesn't do anything. Again, let's just fix it up so that way it's as insane as it can be. Yeah, it's kind of cool, but. Nothing really special, but you slap on the three chainsaws as well as, and again, what you choose is important. So I'm going to slap it a magic bolt with a timer. Remember, it has a cast delay, so that fires fast, but if I put it back here, well, this isn't really going to be doing anything, it's probably just going to be firing off another chainsaw. But if we want to be optimal and have some kind of direction in where this is going, rather than it immediately splitting off in our faces, which you may not want, I don't know. Use something like a spitterball. Doesn't have any cast delay. And... parentheses and anything that just branches off into other spells think of it as adding another pair of parentheses that's how you should be thinking of multicasts and with chainsaws they reduce uh recharge time you want to try to have as many go off as one time with whatever projectile you want rapid fire like, it should be part of the group, yeah. because then you can just have it fire off. Like and this isn't even the, as crazy as the wands can get, like, it can, you can do a lot of theory crafting and just have a laser light show going 100% of the time. And again, there's probably, I may make other videos explaining, uh, just like, with piercing, but I think mean, that's good enough for now. Again, sorry if it was a little... Make sure that even a beginner could understand the whole 